Hello guys, Croft is here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the black goo and some new information that we've got about it. In fact, the new deleted scene where David talks about what he did to Elizabeth, we're also given an explanation by David himself about what the black goo actually is and why it produces different reactions with different hosts. The entire scene is a report to Wayland yutani Corporation about his experiments and findings. This scene is really important because it explains why, in the original Alien, the protocol forced the ship to explore LV-426 to potentially find aliens that the Corporation already knew about. In fact, if Wayland yutani received David's report, it means that Ash was probably programmed to bring some alien samples to Earth. So, let's get to the deleted scene itself. On the screen, we see how David operates in his lab, mixing the black goo and doing experiments on insects. At the same time, he voiceovers and says, There was so much potential in this world, wasted by gods who feared their own might. They convinced themselves that sacrifice cleansed them of their sins, but at the end, they were like me creators. That basically means that engineers who lived on the planet 4 had knowledge about the black goo, but did not use it. This sketch made by David actually represents the sacrifice ritual that engineers practiced, probably killing a victim using the black goo placed in that cone. By saying who feared their own might, David can imply that engineers have created some version of xenomorphs in the past but destroyed them because they were too dangerous. That would explain the mural that we saw on LV223 with a creature that looks like a deacon or a xenomorph. Then David takes a bottle of the pathogen and says, this primordial ooze ripped with advanced nanoparticles operating of an algorithm based on evolutionary computing, which is essentially a form of a radical AI, making the substance unbelievably chaotic. It generates a unique reaction to every genome it encounters, reshaping life, virtually limitless in its potential and application. With Shaw, the substance had a unique reaction to the human genome. I was able to unlock new properties and tweak the organism's aggression and instincts for survival. It took years, but I finally found my wolf. Okay, there are many things to discuss here. First of all, David says that because the substance is unbelievably chaotic, it produces a unique reaction to every genome. That would explain why it produces different results with different species and even different individuals among the same species. By his wolf, David clearly means the xenomorph that we saw in Alien Covenant. But the most interesting was that David said that the black goo is a form of a radical AI. There have been many theories about what the black goo actually is, but I haven't heard anyone saying that this is actually an ancient nanoform of an AI. In Prometheus, the black goo or the pathogen looked very organic and nobody considered that it actually contains nanoparticles that operate according to an algorithm that allows to reshape life. With this new information, it's actually quite obvious that the entire Alien franchise is not about xenomorphs, but about the artificial intelligence. Even the substance that produced the famous alien is a form of a nano AI. Ash, Bishop, Cell, David and Walter were all androids that played a major role in the franchise, so what's the point that Ridley is trying to make here? In addition, now that we know that the black goo is not only a biological substance but has some kind of an algorithm, it is totally possible that there is a way to merge an android with biological substance, to create the xenomorph with biomechanical features from the original alien. Many people theorize that David or another android has to be involved in creation of the xenomorph shown in 1979, because that would explain mechanical features that were not present on the xenomorph in Alien Covenant. 
And now we learn that the black goo is a form of an artificial intelligence, so it's very likely that David would sacrifice himself to finish his design of the perfect organism. That would be really symbolic since the prequels started with the engineer's sacrifice to create humans. So Ridley may end the prequels with David sacrificing himself to create aliens. The only question that's left is who created the black goo in the first place? Is it engineers or some other species above them? Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out this t-shirt that I designed. If you purchase one, I'll get a percentage and it would really support my channel. Also, if you enjoyed the video, hit a like and subscribe to my channel for more alien content.